This is our planet, our home. It's a perfect place to live. It's not too hot and not too cold. In comparison to scorching hot Venus and deathly cold Mars. With the help of our atmosphere, heat from the sun enters our planet and is either absorbed or reflected back into space. Carbon dioxide, a gas, helps keep heat in our atmosphere. Carbon dioxide diverts reflected heat from escaping out of the atmosphere. This is known as the greenhouse effect, where heat enters and cannot escape. This greenhouse effect has been causing an increase in temperature over the years. Don't be mistaken, carbon dioxide is crucial in keeping our planet warm and livable. So one may be asking, where does this carbon dioxide come from? The everyday activities of us humans is what causes large amounts of carbon dioxide to concentrate in the atmosphere. Every time you use electricity, you're admitting carbon dioxide indirectly. Electricity is mostly generated by the burning of coal, a fossil fuel that emits carbon dioxide when it's combusted or burned. Gasoline is a fossil fuel along with coal. Every time you drive your car, the exhaust emits some carbon dioxide. Although humans are the main culprit of high amounts of carbon dioxide, nature contributes a little as well. A good example of a natural emitter of carbon dioxide is volcanoes. When they erupt, they expel some carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Another example is how all living things breathe. We breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Although essential to keep the planet livable for all life, too much carbon dioxide can cause problems. Today, there is more carbon dioxide than there has ever been, going along with a trend that average global, global temperatures are increasing. Scientists are seeing a correlation between carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere and average global temperatures. They are sure that if carbon dioxide levels were to continue to rise, the climate or overall weather patterns of Earth could shift or even change. For example, more droughts could be seen, which often leads to food shortages and wildfires. Stronger so storms such as hurricanes and tornadoes will be much more common if these carbon dioxide levels were to continue to increase. World ice will melt if the, global, if the planet gets too warm, leading to a rise in global ocean levels, which could cause problems to large coastal cities worldwide. Now that I have you worried, you're probably wondering, what can you do to stop the climate from changing? Well, the first and obvious step is to try and reduce how much carbon dioxide is emitted into our atmosphere. To start, quit breathing. Just kidding. The best thing to do is to conserve energy. A good start is to turn off electrical devices when they are not being put to use, such as lights and televisions. Another good way is to maybe walk or ride a bike to go places you would usually take your car. Uh, public transportation would help too if it's available where you live. Another good thing to do is to plant trees and other plants. Plants naturally take in carbon dioxide in order to grow. So, maybe plant a tree or two if possible. With all these things together, you're on your way to preventing a shift in our planet's climate. Earth is your home. Keep it clean. After all, this isn't Uranus.